Well, this time last year I never thought the war would come this far. Yes, but we managed to get by without getting involved. But it's not over yet, why at this very moment people are still dying. Let's stop talking about this. Let's not dwell on the past year, or at the start of a new year. Yes, well, today at least, I want to spend a day without worrying. So it's a new year tree! Hooray! Stupid! Idiots! A bunch of fools! Kim, you're too loud. I don't care if they hear me. All the people here are also fools. Kim! Think about it. What's the purpose of fighting each other on such a tiny planet as this? Fighting out of fear of being hunted into a corner. Rushing into fight as if there were only so many reserved seats to the right of life. Starting a war is stupid. Inciting it is also stupid. Killing people as an act of terrorism or as a protest against wars that kill people is just as stupid. You're all fools. Hold on. Sorry about that got interrupted. Kim, I felt sorry for that child, but I don't think people in Ravine destroyed the generator with that intention. They don't have any other ways to express themselves. The government is the one to blame. Is there a good enough reason for that child or those dead people? It wasn't much of an operation, but it was difficult, but there was enough chance to win. We'd have won if we had better equipment. That child would have been saved if there was electricity. It's not just that child. Five people died in my hospital. The ICU didn't function. Stupid, just fools. Humans, creatures are meant to live. Why do they want to die out? Why do they strangle themselves? Humans are defective creatures, a bunch of fools. That's why genetic damage is up lately. The birth rate is also going down. Only 30 years to live. Nature, this planet, won't allow humans to live any longer than that. 30 years early. Am I a fool too? Huh? I had a physical at the hospital today. They said I can't have children because of hereditary genetic damage. I can't create life. I am a creature waiting to become extinct. Am I also a fool? How sad. Naked. It's no good. It's not gonna work. Somehow we must break the spell, or the humans on this planet will die out. No, I don't care about humans. Life itself will be ruined if we don't do something. Some pure life, not cursed. A pure life. This, this is the new spirit vessel that will break the curse. A naked troll doll. It hasn't awakened yet. The form was created by nanomachines, but neural simulation hasn't been done by the assembler tower yet. It's physically stable, but still doesn't function as a living creature yet. A nanomachine colony? No matter how many times we rewrite the hereditary codes, heredity codes, the impressions embedded in our bodies cannot be stopped. It was necessary to pursue this further. We had to recreate the molecular. No. Actually, the atomic level. By referring to the structural patterns of you and I. This child holds our futures and possibilities. Can this child be the angel who can give us more time? Can she? Can Emerald do it? Why did you have to bring back the naked troll doll? I remember! Long ago, you, Kim, died. Right before Town died. It was because soldiers of Town tried to use me. That's right. The memory in my soul. It was left in me for your sake. While I being held, Krellian told that I... The ultimate work of art that technology gave birth to. Yes, I knew I was Thing. Look, my body. Different from Maria, Margie, and Ellie. Human imitation, but different. Kim and Ellie said I was Angel. Yes, 
You are the child I, or Kim, wished for. Kim has been a part of me in my blood, passing his memory down the generations for the past four thousand years, existing for the day that the child who Kim was never able to embrace for so long would be born. Faye, thank you for being substitute Kim till now, but it okay. I'd be strong and make Kim and Ellie proud that I their child. What? what? Faye, body, so hot. Faye, hold me tight. Don't let go. And she grew up. Faye, body. I became adult. Adult, I. I'm not getting your way anymore. Yes, Emeralda grew up. There, she's fully grown. They even changed her little thing. I don't know if that changes her stats at all. <laughs> I don't think it does. Uh, the stats look the same to me. Yeah, definitely look the same to me. But that is actually it that you can do in this lighthouse. Well, you know, outside of going back to Joe's constantly to get stuff and money. Ugh. Why, d why does he have to have the best equipment? Why? Why must he have the best equipment in the game? I don't want to give Joe my money. He hasn't deserved it. Uh, run. Yeah, as far as I know, it doesn't change any of her stats or anything like that. I just want to go to Joe's really quickly, hopefully. If the game will let me, let's just yeah, hop back up. There we go. Somehow there's a ladder there. And then we can make it up. Just go back to Joe's just to show you real fast. We need to get back into our gears for this, though. There it is. Right over there. We need to get back in there so that I can show you something really fast. Nothing too bad, nothing too bad. I just want to prove to you that they do randomly generate every time you go inside those treasure chests. So, you know, I know you guys trust me, but but I must prove it. See, there they are. You don't even need to leave the dungeon. You can just, you can just leave and come back. We get book two, book one, UFO photo. I will definitely look at that. And an Ara Berry. Awesome. Or an Ari Berry. I don't know. I don't know. Let's take a look at those. Uh, Ari Berry goes good with milk. Okay. Uh, shows a typical Ad Adams Adamski type book too. Not very comical anymore. The, the Avengers of Big Joe. You remember these from the orphanage? Yeah. The UFO photo. I want to look at it, but it will not let me look at it. So I am going to leave this mini dungeon because it's not really a full dungeon. There's no boss or anything. But there are enemies inside, so it's technically a dungeon. I'm holding to that. And we're going to go back to the snow hideout. Actually, the snowfield hideout really quickly. There's one more thing I need to do there. Be right back. Okay, we're back in the snowfield hideout. Back at the bottom of the prison. Do you guys remember? Down here, there was this dude. It kind of looks like a girl, but I'm pretty sure it's a dude from 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 this angle. That was talking about the mermaid tear. Remember that we got that like part three of the game. Let's let's talk to this this dude. He used to fish for a living, right? Of course, he hasn't gone out to sea. He's a land lover. Hate land lovers. They're not men of the sea. I can't do the the spinny thing. Hey, you have a rare stone there, too! Is it a mermaid's tear? They're tough to find, and you girl, you have the most amazing eyes. Like they're an ocean treasure or something. So, let me borrow that stone for a bit. Yeah, you have to have Emeralda in your party, and she has to be all grown up. Long ago, I used to be a famous designer. See? It's ready. You can take this. Good luck. 
Just don't get taken in by any strange men now, love. Received a mermaid ring. So instead of a tear, now we have a ring. And this, I this is an Almeralda equip only item. I have the Hercules ring on it right now because she needs to do some leveling up. But there you go. Ether defense and, well, yeah, ether and ether defense, I should say. Both up by 10. So it's a very, very nice nice equipment. Oh, by the way, here's the, the Vivid Turbine. It, it goes up by 50, as opposed to uh, the Starlight, which goes up by 38. So definitely, definitely better uh, defensive equipment, that Vivid Turbine. But it looks like that's actually all that I am going to do this session of Let's Play Xenogears. Because, honestly, I need to do some money grinding, uh, some level grinding, um, before we head out to the next dungeon. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm pretty much going to go to Animal Relic 2 in hopes that I can find uh, those guys that drop gold nuggets. But I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. I have been Bala Scuba. I have been joined, as always, by Fei Fong Long and Doc Satanazuki and a grown-up Emeralda. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.